Liz Miranda, 33, born and raised in Roxbury, one of Boston's neighborhoods where I'm from, the Dudley Street Triangle, at one point in time was the poorest part of my city. And I remember walking to school and seeing burnt out cars and vacant lots and I just felt like my community was dirty. My current work comes from a long history of doing stuff in the community. I started when I was about 13, so I've had 20 years of trying to infuse community work and what I do as a businesswoman. Currently, I'm on the board of Score for More, a nonprofit that uses sports to engage young people. I also teach entrepreneurship through Junior Achievement, Build, and Nifty, and I produce events to bring the community together, and that's kind of like my art form. I also do a lot of peace activism in the city. I currently do work with Operation Lipstick and the Louis D. Brown Peace Institute. And I do that mostly because I have lost countless friends in the streets of Boston. The first real friend I lost, Mikey, went to high school with me. I was a sophomore in college when he was murdered. And that has led me down a path of not only um, producing things for young people, but also using media and marketing to engage the community around building peace. Roxbury, just like any other urban community, faces a multitude of challenges still, whether it's drugs, violence, teen pregnancy, lack of resources and education and poverty. Every issue is in my community. I mean, me personally, I grew up poor and my mom had me at 17. And I remember what it was like to not have her around because she worked all the time and not have my real father in my life and my community people would look down on us. I'm going to Ohio. 98. Huh? Yeah, that's good. I've seen the documentary and they were just catching my where I went to high school. They're cute. Still to this day, people, when you say you're from Dorchester, Roxbury, Mattapan, they look at you funny. So I think the struggle is not only an immediate physical struggle, but it's also a struggle with the way people see us. And the, the way that people see us sometimes gets internalized and people don't think highly of themselves, they don't push themselves, they don't want more. But I remember like growing up in this community and knowing that I wanted more for myself. I think struggle builds character. Actually, I know. And I've struggled so much. I, in my business, I've, I've seen the highest of highs and I've seen the lowest of lows. And in 2009, for example, I, had, I lost everything. I've spent the last four years kind of pulling the pieces back together, but I'm excited and you can't be scared to rebuild anything because I finally am the woman I always wanted to be and I'm finally building the company I always wanted to have. A lot of people have a fear of failure and a fear of falling down. Well, that really leads you on a journey to success. It's not really reaching the mountaintop for me anymore. It's about the steps to get there. What I think I want to portray is this idea of a hustler who wins by any means necessary, that there are positive ways to become wealthy and successful. Being a woman in the entertainment business, as a woman entrepreneur, I've had to face so many challenges and I try to keep my chin up. I try to bounce back and be resilient. And I, what I try to portray to even younger people coming up in the same industry is that you can rebuild yourself, you can reinvent yourself, but you have to work hard. I have this kind of phrase I say all the time, no days off. Sometimes I feel like I work seven days a week, uh, 24 hours a day, and I still don't get the results, but I keep Pushing. And I think it's because of this ideology that I have that I can make something out of nothing. I think a lot of times people look at women and, and there's some misconceptions about who we are. I have been in this business, the entertainment business, since I was 19 in Boston when I first did my first club night. And there is sexism, there's racism, there's ageism, any ism you can imagine is there. And not to mention, I'm emotional. I'm a cancer, I'm a chick, so sometimes like my emotions play into my work. But I've, I've kind of used that to my advantage to say that that's what makes me passionate.
that makes me Liz, that makes me L-I-Z, the fact that I bring who I am as a person to my work and I love it. I now live in the same community that I used to walk when I was nine years old. And it, it provides a lot of inspiration for me to want to do better because I see young kids coming up nowadays. I see the killings, I see um, the drugs and the violence and it reminds me every day that no matter how much money I make, how much success I have, that there's still work to be done. So struggle to me is like the driver, it's the lever that makes me work that much harder. I am Liz Miranda and I'm just like you. Nothing came easy. Now you don't want to go to Roxbury? <laughs>